Drinking Buddies. They released a new batch of Knob Creek 18. But is it as good as last year's? Let's find out. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> drinking Buddies. It is your drinking buddy from the future. And I just finished this blind and wow, were the results crazy. You're gonna keep watching. But first, you gotta make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe. The most important thing is that you subscribe because without subscribers, the algorithm will not show my videos to you. So keep in mind that I have about 75,000 different viewers a month come to my channel. 75,000 different people come to my channel each month and only 10,000 subscribers. You can help me out by just hitting subscribe. You will make my year. Now let's go. All right, drinking buddies. So they did a new release of Knob Creek 18. This year, no box. So you don't get the fancy wood box, um, which is a shame. You know, I love my wood boxes that I get from basically just Jim Beam. <laughs> Um, I haven't opened this one yet, but a friend gave me a sample. So that's kind of cool if you're someone, I'm not really a neck pour guy, but some people are big neck pour support, uh, opponents. Uh, this has been open for a while and this is not the neck pour. Um, so if you're a big neck pour guy, that ain't the neck pour. Um, this one's been open for a while and this one's been open for like, I don't know, eight months or something. Oh, I already mixed them up. I already mixed, uh, mixed them up again, why not? I literally have no idea because I did it like I mixed them up like 20 minutes ago or like 10 minutes ago when I poured them. Let's go. Oh, just a great nose. It's like peanut brittle with some oak. Oh, the peanut brittle is just taking me back. Like I love it how sometimes like a smell can just like activate a memory. My grandma always used to make peanut brittle and this is just like I'm a child eating peanut brittle, you know sitting on my grandma's lap. Crazy, crazy how much a smell can do that, but <sighs> delightful nose. That is extra oaky, 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 oaky. And, uh, with that oak, a lot, with the age of bourbon, usually when a bourbon is over 15 years old, uh, you're gonna get a medicinal cherry note. And the medicinal cherry note is here, but there's none of the like herbal dry bitterness that you get off of something that's over oaked, which is which I really like. None of that. Um, it's almost there though. This is like, this is like the per, this is like, you want an oak bomb, but you don't want it to be too much. This is like the perfect whiskey for you. I used to say that perfect whiskey was Calumet 16. This just takes it to like a slightly higher level. Um, this is like about as oaky as I could possibly enjoy and still enjoy it. Um, but I do dig it. Uh, and the peanut on the nose is gone on the palate. It's just not even there. It's just vanilla, cinnamon, uh, medicinal cherry and a uh, lot of oak. I'm gonna rinse actually because there could there's gonna be the difference in these should be very subtle. So yeah, the difference should be very subtle. Different nose. Already immediately getting that. There's no peanut on this nose. <sighs> this nose is medicinal cherry. This nose is brown sugar and uh, less oaky. <sighs> hmm. I'm kind of surprised how I expected this to be pretty similar because this, this should be batch to be pretty similar. But this is, you know, batch one and this is batch two of a product that is not batched to be, I don't know, could be could be like an Elijah Craig barrel proof where you're going to get something different every year. I don't know. My mind is actually kind of blown right now. I did not expect to favor one so much more. Well, now let me preface this by saying, you know, I like this one more, 
But that doesn't mean that this isn't a buy. This is still really good. This is just kind of like a lot better and I'm kind of surprised by that. Um, there is just more going on here. There, there, there's less oak and more flavors going on. Not saying that the oak thing was a bad thing. Like I said, I, I really dig the oak, but. This one beavers would love. And this one, I think, um, like everyone would love this. Sweeter. The, the medicinal cherry on here is a little bit more, it's a little bit more palatable to somebody who might not like that medicinal cherry. It, it's more, it's more of that candy cherry with a hint of medicine there. Um, yeah, I actually, like, I really think this is, this is special. I, and I did both, but. <sighs> this tastes older. I'm kind of blown away. Like, this tastes so much older than this. There's so much more oak on this one. Which just means there's a little bit more complexity over here. Let's find out what we're working with. Um, I think that, I, I don't, I'm not even going to guess. I'm not even going to guess. I just think that this one is better. So batch one is the really oaky one. Wow. So I'm really glad I got this because it's even better than, than the batch one. I'm kind of blown away right now. Uh, so yeah, if this is something you can find, um, these hit Costco in my area, which is how I was able to get one. Um, at Costco, it was like 130 bucks for 18 year old legacy juice. That's pretty special. Um, but I think for the most part, this is a bottle that you have to get in like lotteries or raffles. Um, secondary is not outrageous though. So keep that in mind. If you're a person that's willing to pay a little bit more, um, I'll put the secondary price right here. I won't, you know, tell you where to get it. I can't do that, but I can tell you what they go for. Um, and, uh, you know, I, for me, secondary, all that means to me, because I'm not a person that pays secondary, but I'm a person that will trade. So let's say this bottle is worth $200. I can trade this for something that's worth $200 on the secondary. And so therefore, that's why I know secondary numbers, because I like to trade. I will get extra things like, E.H. Taylor, Eagle Rare, Weller Special Reserve, Blanton's, things like that so that I can trade them for things that I can't get. And, uh, you know, that person is probably taking those and flipping them for much more. But, hey, uh, that person is putting unicorns in my hands. And, you know, I think that's awesome. So tell me what you think about all that in the comments, because it is it is a little bit of a moral gray area for a bourbon drinker to, you know, indulge in the secondary because, uh, you know, there's then again. Uh, it is a little bit of a moral gray area to walk into one of those museum liquor stores and buy anything. Because if they're if they're willing to charge four thousand dollars for a bottle of Pappy, um, you buy anything in that store, you're supporting that. So it's kind of the same thing. I think if you support any of those liquor stores that do that, you're just as equal in the bourbon price hiking garbage that we're in right now because you're willing to support it. So anyway. Long rant, I apologize. Cheers, drinking buddies. Thanks for watching.